Hiya. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, if you're clicking on this video and your first reaction is, wow, northern Chiang Rai and the border of Laos looks just like northern England, um, that's because it is northern England. <laughs> this video is going to explain, as the title suggests, why we got rejected at the border. There are chapters in the description and if you look at the timeline of the video, you can go fast forward to the most interesting part of the video for you. But we're gonna first document um, some maintenance issues that Zelda had and how we fixed them. And then I'll explain the two reasons why we got rejected and we weren't able to cross from Thailand into Laos. Then I'll explain how are we going to fix those two problems because we can fix them but it took me a long time to research and figure out what to do and then as I'll explain in that section of the video I'm going to take you on a whirlwind tour <laughs> very quickly uh, to four different countries I'll take you to Paris with Miss P we'll go to Brussels and see some old school friends of mine then we'll pop over to London we'll see my dad southern Wales to see my sister and her baby and then we're going to spend two weeks in the Toon, Northern England. By the end of the video, <laughs> we'll be back in Thailand. This is a talky explaining video. It's not really a next level adventure, so I apologize. So before I bring you back to rainy old England, let me go back in time to Chiang Rai, explain to you why we got rejected at the border. Although to be fair, the weather in Chiang Rai wasn't, as <laughs> wasn't better than what it's like here in England. So I'll see you back in England in about five minutes into this video. But yeah, enjoy. Welcome back and we've got quite a lot of bad news to get through today. <laughs> so I wanted to clean Zelda for this video just so she looked nice because she was absolutely covered in dirt. That's because it has not stopped raining. Since we last saw each other, I was in Pai. I drove over from Pai to Chiang Mai, stayed a night. It rained the whole way. Then I went to Payao and my idea was to spend two or three nights at the lake the beautiful lake that we saw on our first adventure around Thailand. And there's a mountain in the distance, and I think it's called Doi Nok, which means bird mountain. And I wanted to climb it. I did attempt to climb it a couple of years ago before I even started this channel and failed miserably. And I wanted to go back and take you guys on a guided tour with a local to the top, but it just didn't stop raining. And so I spent three days at the lake just waiting for the rain to clear because you can't climb the mountain in the rain, it's too dangerous. Plus there'd be no views and no point going up there. So me and Zelda just waited it out and we waited and we waited and nothing happened. And I decided to leave. So I came up north to Shang Rai. The first thing I did was take Zelda to the mechanics to try and figure out what issues she's been having with her brakes. If you remember on the way to Pi, we were having lots of squeaky brake noises at the front. not normal and I just wasn't happy with the back brakes they had already failed if you remember in the Lampang episode the back brakes overheated and uh, so I just took it to the shop they had a good look and they replaced the brake pads on the drum brakes at the back here because they're already worn out believe it or not and then the front ABS brakes they just needed a cleaning and they did all that and uh, they didn't charge me which was really nice so thank you Honda, that isn't a sponsored thing, they were just like, oh don't worry about it, here's some extra pads and this happens all the time. And uh, they just adjusted the brake as well because normally my foot is on the back brake and I think I was engaging the brake maybe by accident, so we've changed the settings of it now. So let's talk about Laos, this is a, this is a big issue, potentially just disastrous. So I was about to drive to the border and figure out how to cross maybe stay a night in that town it's called Shang Klong and it's right on the border of Laos most people cross the border and do the two-day boat trip down the Mekong to Lamprabang but my idea was to cross the border and spend a couple of days in the north of Laos and work our way down to Lang Prabang but that's not gonna happen let me tell you why in a second because I'm actually getting pissed on it is impossible 
for me and Zelda to cross into Laos at that border. There are two reasons why. The, the first is a legal reason. It is against the law for a Thai motorcycle to cross into Laos if it's under 250 cc. Now, Zelda is a CT125. She is a 125 cc engine. And the reason why they won't let smaller bikes cross the border is because of theft. Apparently, Laos has a big issue with people going into Thailand, stealing small bikes and taking them back into Laos to use and to sell. And so to counter that, they've just banned small bikes. You now need a 250cc plus bike. Now, even though I have the green book and Zelda's in my name, I'm not gonna risk it. The, it clearly states it's not possible. You can cross with a guide if you use a tour company. I don't know how they do it, but they must have connections. So I contacted one on Facebook. They're very good. I'll leave the link in the description. You need them to help you cross if you want to cross with a smaller bike. However, they said it wasn't possible at the minute because at the time and right now they're dealing with over a hundred bikers that they've helped cross over the past few weeks who are trapped in northern Laos because of landslides and flooding. A bunch of people had crossed the border, used the agents, they're on smaller bikes, Thai people, maybe foreigners too, and they went up into northern Laos on a big tour and they got stranded and they're still there now. They cannot drive back to the border. So for now, the agent is just not accepting any requests to take smaller bikes across. So because our engine's too small and because the agents are no longer available, we cannot cross the border into Laos from Shang Clan, Shang Klong, sorry. But we can cross, I've been told we can cross into Vientiane, the capital city further south. I think it borders Nongkai province, which we've been to obviously, but uh, that's 700 kilometers away. So we can't cross into Laos from Shang Rai. We can't do the northern loop that we wanted because of landslides. And so we need to rethink and reevaluate. And so let me take you for a drink somewhere interesting and I'll explain to you what the solution is because it's taken me a few days to figure it out. Right, so just opposite my hotel is a cute little cat cafe and you can get a coffee and a little piece of cake and hang out with these mostly sleeping pussy cats. And these are very popular in Thailand, these cat cafes. So what are we going to do now? The first stage is in real time, right now. I'm one day away from going home, back to the UK. I actually wanted to film this series for you guys to enjoy whilst I was at home. So in real time, on the day of this upload, I would have just landed back into Thailand. So I'm going to leave my bike here in Chiang Rai and go home. Tomorrow I go home. I'll spend two weeks with my friends and family and then I'll come back and pick up the bike here in Chiang Rai and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive maybe we'll explore a little bit of Chiang Rai because of the weather I wasn't able to show you some of these cool places then we'll go down into Nan one of my favorite provinces across into Pechabun again one of my favorite places and then from there we can cross into Laos using an agent because in that border crossing you are allowed it's more simple with 125 cc for some reason just this one here in Chiang Rai is very complicated but we should be able to cross the border in Nong Kai this first series with Zelda was never supposed to be the next level this isn't level three of next level adventures this was more of a getting to know Zelda series positioning her near the border of Lao, figuring out the tweaks, a kind of mini-series in between level two and level three, level three being Laos and Cambodia. I will end this video, if you've stayed till the end, because I apologize for this not being a next level adventure, and I apologize for not really showing much of anything. Payao was raining, Chiang Rai was raining, and Zelda was broken. So what I will do is I'm going to share with you a little snippet of my trip back home. Okay then, so that was the story of Zelda and getting rejected at the border. 
and uh, our future plans. So let me share with you my time going back to England. So actually, firstly, I went to Paris with my girlfriend. So Miss P, before she met me, she loved to go traveling solo, just like most people do. And she had booked a trip to Paris and to Switzerland. And that had been planned for months. And I wasn't originally gonna go with her. But if you've been watching Next Level Adventures for a while, you might have heard me say recently that you know my nan wasn't feeling very well and that I've been meaning to go home for a very long time. It had been five years since I had come home. So I said to my girlfriend, Miss P, I said, do you mind if I come to Paris with you? Because A, that will be really fun, and B, I'll be near home, and then I can go and see my family. And she was very happy to accept me to come on her trip. I didn't come on the whole trip, she went off to Switzerland and did some trekking and stuff and she had a great time. But yeah, for three nights we went to Paris. It was amazing. Paris is an incredible city. I had never been there before. It really was one of the best cities I've ever been to. We had a great three days. The weather was great. We did lots of touristy things. We went to the Louvre and saw the Mona Lisa and all of the amazing works of art. Lots and lots of touristy things, including going to Disneyland, which was a highlight for me. What a place Disneyland is, by the way. I'm 100% gonna go back there one day, hopefully with my kids in the future. I don't have any kids yet, but maybe one day. <laughs> um, the highlight of Disneyland, by the way, was definitely the Frozen show. Oh my God, seeing Elsa in real life, that was incredible. And after three amazing days with um, Miss P in Paris, I went up to Brussels. It was only a half an hour fast train and I have two really good friends there, Damien and Thais, who Damien I went to Taiwan with, and Thais I've been traveling for years with and met him in Australia. And of course he's one other half, one other third, I should say, of the budgeteers. So it was really good to catch up with them and drink some beer and have some, have some quality time with some really good friends in Belgium. And then from there, excuse me while I just, I'm out here in the, oh, how do I do this? This is to stop all the horses and cows getting out of the fields here in the countryside. Um, so because I was in Belgium, it was really easy to nip over to London on the Eurostar. And the second I arrived, it was right in the middle of Queen Elizabeth's funeral. So I watched the funeral with my dad and uh, his partner. And uh, a very interesting experience, actually. It was very well done. It was very well shot. And uh, it was nice to see the Queen, bless her get a good send off and uh, I just spent a couple more days with my dad in London I had a nice walk around Epsom Common it's a beautiful English wood in the uh, area of Epsom just outside of uh, central London it's really nice to have this experience to be back amongst the holly and the birch and all the English plants and species wood pigeons and giant squirrels little fox running around England on a sunny day is pretty special. And yeah, it was just really nice to spend some quality time with my dad, hadn't seen him for five years, and be in London. Lovely, lovely jubbly. And then I got on the mega bus and I went to Swansea because that's where my sister lives. Swansea is in Southern Wales and I was not prepared for how beautiful Swansea was. <laughs> I've made it to the top of the three peaks. This is beautiful. This is just like being in Koh Phi Phi in Thailand in low tide. Just without the bucket bars blasting tropical house music. <laughs> I had no idea that South Wales was this beautiful. Now I know why my sister moved here. You see, my sister has a one and a half year old baby girl and she's beautiful and she's walking and she's talking and so it was really nice to not only spend three nights in Swansea with my sister but my mum came and we got to meet my sister's um, baby. Josie my sister if you're watching thank you for taking care of us and inviting us into your home and it was a real pleasure to meet your beautiful daughter and I can't wait to see how she grows up and I promise I won't take five years to come back home next time. We'll go through this gate and then I'll tell you about the next section. And then I came up to the Toon, aka Newcastle upon Tyne. This is where my family is basically from. Both my parents are from Newcastle and all of my family are from here. And so 
I've just been kind of enjoying time with my with my family, mainly seeing my nan because she hasn't been very well. So every single day pretty much, um, for an hour or two, we pop over and we have a cup of tea and sit in the front room and just hang out. And she's doing okay. Um, she, she has issues with her lungs, bless her. So I've just been spending as much time as I can without you know, harassing her. <laughs> just hanging out at Nana's, watching the telly and having endless cups of tea. During that time, I've been exploring Northumberland coast with my mum and uh, her new husband. We've been going on tours and walks and going into the countryside and seeing castles and beautiful villages. And every time I come home, my family are always secretly trying to make me come back and move here by showing me all of the beautiful nature here. And that's another thing that I've realized on this trip home. Not only is it so nice to see my family, but it's so nice to remind myself of just how beautiful, even in a rainy, cloudy, miserable day, how beautiful this country really is. England is gorgeous and I will be sharing with you one day in the future a next level adventure in this country but not anytime soon because I'm still enjoying Asia the weather the food and the freedoms that you can have in that part of the world at the minute so anyway that was a whirlwind tour around Asia Thailand Laos and Europe and uh, as I said I will be heading back to Thailand today is Thursday and Saturday I'll be going to the match. I've got, hopefully I've got a ticket to go see Newcastle United versus Brentford. So that will be amazing to be in the stadium. And then that evening I fly back to Thailand. I'm gonna spend two or three nights in Bangkok with my girlfriend and just kind of get over jet lag. And then I'm gonna go back up to Chiang Rai, reunite with Zelda. And then as I mentioned before, we're gonna drive down and around to the border of Laos. And that's when level three will begin. I've come up with a name and a concept for level three. So I'll be sharing with you all of that wonderful information soon. I can't wait to get back on Zelda. I miss her, I miss Thailand, but it has been great to be here. So thanks for watching. I'm sorry it was a proper ranty, talky video, um, but uh, I hope you appreciate me sharing with you a slice of my family life and the plans for the channel and stuff and why we didn't go to Laos straight away. It was a blessing in disguise, I think. So anyway, next time you see me, We'll be back in Thailand, back on Zelda, and making our way, eventually, to the border of Laos. How are the tune? <laughs>